The most common question I get when I operate portable, this is from other amateurs, is do you get many questions? The answer is yes, though it depends a bit on location. Things like, what are you doing? What's that? What's that big tall rod? What's that equipment down there? Are you fishing? Do you talk to aliens? Are you a Russian secret agent? And a lot more. Some people have family members, so they have some idea. Is it a CB? Or is it ham radio? Oh, I had an uncle who used to do that. The attitude of portable amateurs vary. To some, visitors and questions may be a distraction, as their main aim is to operate DX. Others don't mind questions and see it as a chance to promote amateur radio. This video is intended for the latter. There's a few tips and tricks, do's and don'ts. Also, I'll have some actual questions recorded from previous portable operating. I'm hunched over my equipment, so if someone comes by, I look unapproachable. There's junk everywhere, so it's not very considerate for people using this public area. I'm wearing these big bulky headphones. Make me look like an alien. And I'm dressed like a dork, so not only am I doing something weird, but I also look weird. And there's a wire across the path. Now this is a bit better. The station is neater, takes up less room. Unwanted things are packed up in a bag. I'm using lighter headphones, so I look less like an alien. And I'm only using one of them, so I've got a spare ear to answer any questions. My posture's better, I'm facing oncoming people, I look more approachable, and I'm better dressed. Two or three is probably best. One can be difficult if you're trying to have two conversations at once, whereas large groups tend to look inward and talk amongst themselves. For a club, it's probably better to have several locations with two or three people each. The other benefit is if activity is low, you've got some guaranteed contacts. Another thing I've noticed is antennas attract attention. You get lots of questions on a pier where lots of people are fishing. It's probably the squid pole that attracts them because it's so huge. It's bigger than anyone else's. It's a, um, a radio transmitter, so I'm trying to talk to people around Australia and the rod is the antenna. So yeah, it is a fishing rod, but I'm not using it for it. What is it? It's a, uh, a squid pole. A what? A squid pole okay. for an antenna. For an antenna? Yep. Contacting outside? Uh, not quite, no, just Melbourne. And this is a good spot for it? Yep, because it's over the border. What are you going to catch with that? It's a, uh, a radio transmitter. Yeah. So I can talk to people. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if I put my line down here? No, it doesn't matter. Is that going to scare the fish away? No, no, it won't, no. Are you going to attract them? No, I don't think so. Location like this is a lot better than at home. Oh, it's a radio antenna. Really? Yep. Yeah, it's a good spot. Oh, I'll, I'll just talk to people from Melbourne. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to radio change that. How uh, much range do you do? Um, from here, probably about 50 to 100 kilometres. Although at other times of the day, it can be all over the world. Yeah, it's, it's high frequency. 